Hi everyone, it's been almost half a year now and I feel like a human wreck now after what they did to me in the meantime. I was arrested and tortured in a high security prison because of my videos revealing the true nature of Octagon Switzerland of the Nazi Templars. On July 16th, 2015, they arrested me in front of my children on a bridge next to a shopping mall. My four-year-old daughter crying, my 13-year-old son shocked, cops holding my arms and standing everywhere with cars and everywhere. Then they took me to several high security prisons, keeping me in solitary confinement most of the time in a cell with no window to open with saturated used up air, not enough oxygen to nourish the organism, keeping me as an insect in a glass marmalade jar with a lid on it. Dry, used air, drying out the lungs, drying out your brain into the worst burnout you can imagine. After a few days in that jar, I felt like a punch in my stomach around the solar plexus area like something getting in and taking over. Since that moment experiencing suggestions not from me and MKUltra like. No idea how they did it. Leaving my true witness account of this evil dictatorship in the Alps that brought so much sorrow to humanity and still. As the Swiss Octogon is behind the fan financing of Islamist attacks just as the Swiss Nazi Templars financed Mr. Hitler and his gang. And if they did it once, you know, they're always going to do it. They did it with Mr. Hitler, and they're still going on. And every time when there's an Islamic attack, like in France, two weeks later there are the elections, and they want the right-wingers to come through. So, uh, who's taking advantage or trying to take advantage of the Islamic uh, attacks? Well, it's the right wing, it's Switzerland who wants to destroy the European community. It's Octagon, believe me. And it already started with this guy, François Genoux, the great eminence of uh, Octagon, who was a personal friend of Mr. Hitler. Well, I already showed it to you. And as by law, they cannot sentence anyone to a prison sentence for making videos. So, they sentenced me to pay a fine of 20,000 Swiss francs, perfectly knowing I cannot pay that and being the equivalent for one year and two months in a high security torture facility for political prisoners. So, here you can read some of the official documents, you know, and why they put me in prison, because I talked, uh, yeah, because of my videos. And I'll just lie a lot of things together for which I don't even have any proofs. And they wanted to keep me until August 29th, 2016. Yeah. And here it says uh, 9,000 Swiss francs and 11,000. So that makes 20,000 Swiss francs. And why did they... Why did they arrest me in the first place? Well, that says because of YouTube. That's my videos here everywhere. Video, uh, YouTube. Well, they don't like my videos. So they put you in prison, in a high security prison, you know, for. And I just lie some things together. Now it says on YouTube. And here. It said I, I didn't behave well and that I, I, I was swearing and, and, uh, and I, wasn't, I wasn't telling the truth. Well, you saw I was telling the truth in my videos, you know. It says, you know, YouTube there, YouTube, it's all about YouTube. The Swiss are very much afraid of YouTube, apparently, so because of my videos. That's why in Switzerland, you know, you get tortured and they, they put you in a high security prison in solitary confinement because you make YouTube videos and you're gone, you know. 
they're absolutely afraid of YouTube. It says Gure, my channel, Chatsi Frats, the criminal Swiss Nazi Templars, and they don't like that. Ku Klux Klan and criminal Swiss banks appeal for violence in Switzerland against American citizens. It's another video I made, uh, etc., etc. And they just say, well, it is um, a Verleumdung, that's what they say. It's not true, so we have to put you in prison. Just like that. That's Switzerland. So for three and a half months I spent like an insect in a glass jar with dry saturated thick air until my poor wife borrowed 9,000 Swiss francs together getting me out on November 1st having lost 30 kilos in three and a half months picking up a human wreck not even the shadow anymore of the man she lost in there. It's like a kidnapping in Bogota, Colombia or by some Swiss Mafia with a ransom to pay. So they controlled what I ate, what I drank and what I breathed. And everyone's hair was falling out on top because of whatever else they did to us. Yes, this is the real Switzerland under some thick layers of clean neutrality swindle. And I want to witness about that here. So at least they don't entirely get away with our octagon crimes against humanity. So I don't know if it really works. Here you can see how my hair has fallen out here. You know, because whatever they did, no oxygen, probably put something in our food. See, I never had this before. You know, I'm, I'm a wreck. And everybody else had it as well, you know. Immigrants, you know. Um, Mostly foreigners inside there, innocent people. Please someone help my wife and children because now they're being directly attacked as well. As they arrested my wife too on December 21st, 2015. Making her responsible for some bogus threat mails the Swiss Nazi authorities sent to themselves by hacking into our computer using our IP address in a criminal way in order to lie more things together to put innocent people away in some high security prison to silence people up from telling the truth about Octagon. I leave the address and telephone number of my family here in the YouTube channel for people to help them. They should leave the country. And so here is the new, my new email address because they hacked the other one. There's the other one, they hacked it. I, I can't even get into it anymore. They took the computer away, you know, so they have ways to do this. And here's my address. My wife is Regina Loy. Telephone number, it's all here. Um, yeah, they're taking my wife and children now as well. Um, uh, it's horrible. They, they're organized criminals. Please help them. I, there's nothing I can do anymore, you know. So this is in my channel, if you click the about section, in French that, it's, that uh, that's, it stands à propos de, in German, über uns. So this is for me only, and here you can read to my wife. Well, she has no computer anymore, uh, telephone should be working. So on Sunday night, December 20th, 2015, I had a premonition and saw them. So I told my wife that the state terrorist in blue would come in the morning after my vision. And yes, at 6.30 in the morning the house was crawling with them and many cars outside. Another house search based upon their own lies arresting me and my wife. And during the premonition the night before I was awake. So I saw them. I saw the boots, the blue pants, I, I saw them. My wife is my witness. I saw it. Since the corrupt Swiss police stole our computer during the house search on uh, December 21st, 2015, I have no more access to my own email. 
supposing they hacked it to send some punishable males in my name. I infiltrated the Swiss Octagon over a long period of time and presented solid proofs about them through my videos for which they destroyed me and my precious little family, confirming the weight of my documentaries, them being afraid the truth will reach too many people. Please someone tell my wife that I made this video and that I love her and the children. Maybe I'll never see them again. I feel very sick already, so I thought, instead of getting slowly tortured and murdered by the criminal Swiss state gangsters, I'd rather split, hope, and make some more videos. But I need your help for that, needing people to house me, for which you can use that new email address on my channel to contact me. I really need your help now, so I can get some more astonishing truth out for you, for our children and our future. 